Hi guys, Tracy here with my update on my Documenting December uh, project, which I'm doing using the Stocking Stuffer Kit from Scraptastic. And so this is where I left off, and it could be that some of the details weren't included in my last update, um, simply because I did a class where I talked about um, adding the final details before I put everything into its pockets um, and I think that happened after my last update. So uh, some of these details might be new but um, my last update would have gone to around here somewhere. Um, so I'm going to show you this page in a little bit more detail just in case any of it was missed. So I have um, this card, which I'm sure you saw because that was included in my last update, and then this card, and these two were included in my first update, and that one I just added some sewing to as a detail, and then on this one um, I added some sewing to this tag as another detail. And I think this one is unchanged, this one is unchanged, this one I added the um, little tree on the car since my last video, and then the other thing that I added was a little pullout. So this one pulls out, and I have some extra journaling there, and another one of those car stickers. And then the back side is this Merry Christmas deer head. So that's that. Just talks about going to the tree lot, which is what this card and this card are about. So that should bring you up to date to this page. And now I'm going to show you what I'm going to start to add to these two pages. They're not ready to go in yet, so I'm going to move my album. And so basically, since my last update, I have one, one full page and then part of the next page started. So I'm going to show you each of these cards. Some of these you might have seen if you caught my class on die cuts. So this card started with a 4x6 piece of paper from the crepe paper, paper pad that comes in the kit. I put on a screen cap of the weather and did use my American Crafts roller date stamp that says Winter Wonderland. Basically this was our first snowfall that was anything much to talk about. We had one snowfall just a couple of days before that um, that was just very little accumulation. Um, but this one was our first big snowstorm. Well, it wasn't really. Well, yeah, I guess it was a storm. Um, and so this is a Chic Tags tag, December Moments. And I didn't want to clutter up this one with too many layers just because it had the potential to be pretty busy. So I just had this tag and this tag and then the die cut and then the pictures and on the card. Uh, so this tag here just slips behind the photo. It kind of is too, not quite behind. It should be over a little bit more. Um, but it says wishes. We were wishing for snow, but it looks like rain will wash it away. And then I just took an Instax photo of the first snow just out our back door. And this is always a measure of how much snow has come, how much has snow is on our deck table. And then this is one of the die cuts from the extra goodies that you get in the Scraptastic kit. These are available on the message form if you bought the Scraptastic kit, the stocking stuffer kit. So then I have this, which I talked about in my die cut class. So I talked about, and I think I showed you guys the process for this card. Um, those of you who are taking the Scraptastic class, um, the stocking stuffer class. Um, so I just kind of journaled around the deer. I used my roller date stamp from American Crafts. I used some of those Jilly Bean word stickers from the stocking stuffer kit. And then I used more 
letter stickers from the Glitz Designs letter sticker sheet in the kit. I used the Ormolu Flare Badge right there, and then I um, just went online and printed up a picture of the festive meal deal from Swiss Chalet because that was what we ate on my birthday. Then this is a card that would be new to everybody. So this is a um, photo of my kids and their friends at the Nutcracker. And my daughter's quite dark in the back there, but these are my two right here. And um, I just did some journaling, and this is on one of the printables, which is also available in the in the stocking stuck in the stocking stuffer forum um, at the Scraptastic website. So that was pretty easy. And then this one is just a picture of. Um, one time we had trouble finding our elf, but if we, we ended up figuring out that we had to use Ken's walkie-talkie to talk to Elvin, and then we could hear the walkie-talk going off, the walkie-talkie going off in the cupboard, and that's how we found he was actually hidden in one of the cupboards that we don't use very much. So I layered a piece of washi tape from my stash and the glitter ribbon or the yeah the glitter tape from the kit and this is an ormolu card from the kit and i just did a bit of journaling on it and put a couple of staples i added the um, bow shaped paper clip to the top and then this is another card that i made in the die cutting class that i did and it's just uh, the december die cut from the stocking stuffer kit um, I cut it on my Cameo and then I just put a strip of glitter tape above and below and I outlined it with my marker and that was it. So it's just a filler card. It's nice to have some filler cards because it's a place for your eye to rest. So I try to have w at least one filler card on each 12 by 12 sheet. This is another one that's new to you guys. It is a um, card from the Scraptastic um, stocking stuffer kit and I just wrapped a piece of lint chocolate wrapper because we get these lint chocolates they come with the uh, festive meal deal so we've been having little treats of those every once in a while and so there were some wrappers around and they really remind me of Christmas because we don't eat these other times of the year so I just kind of wrapped that around and then this is a picture of my birthday present I just outlined it with a thick marker and then I added these two uh, word stickers and some staples and then I did some journaling and added two little stars from the kit This is another new one. So this is one of the, whoops. Okay, that wasn't supposed to be on there. It didn't fall off, it wasn't supposed to be on there. Um, this is another card from the stocking stuffer kit. And I just put this uh, three by three picture of Elvin and the Nutcrackers. And this is one of the printable labels. I just cut it out. Um, and Elvin, the day of the Nutcracker, the day that we had tickets to see the Nutcracker, Elvin was on our mantle with the Nutcrackers, hanging out with them. So we were joking around saying that he seemed to know that this was the day that we were going to the Nutcracker. I just stapled my tickets together and stuck them behind, added a sticker on top and a little cluster of sequins beside it. I also did some journaling right on the, right on the tickets. This one is a really plain card. It's just a picture of a screen. Actually, I just took a picture of my uh, TV screen in the middle of Polar Express when I got to the hot chocolate scene, which is my favorite scene. I did some journaling about it and just put it on this Peace on Earth card that came in the kit. This was another card that came in the stocking stuffer kit and it said Winter Wonderland, I think, and there was something across, there was like a band across the middle and it's the back side of this card. And instead of putting Winter Wonderland, I wanted to use this picture, which was a picture I took out of my uh, office window early in the morning on the night that, the day after I had to stay overnight at my office because there was a huge snowstorm coming and I had worked really late the night before and I was supposed to be at work really early the next day. And so rather than leave the office at 11 o'clock at night and then drive back in in a snowstorm at seven o'clock the next morning, I just decided to stay. So I did some journaling about that, used my American Crafts uh, date stamp, 
added some letter stickers there to make this say Winter Storm instead of Winter Wonderland. Covered up the rest of the card with uh, a photo, but I left a little border so that there's some gold above and below the photo, but the photo goes from edge to edge of the card. Then I took some glitter tape and I cut a banner, a fishtail banner, and I layered it with one of the printables that I cut out and did a tiny bit of extra journaling there about the Starbucks uh, coffee that's sitting on the windowsill. Then, this is another new card. In this card, I used the Mary uh, stencil that I had done with the die cut from the kit. Um, and so I think if you caught my die cut class you would have seen me create this. What I did was I just went back over it with a green marker, really really messy. So what I do to do that is I actually hold the pencil or the marker way up high on the marker instead of, so this is the marker that I used, instead of holding it like this which is how I would normally hold it, I kind of hold it like this and then I kind of just go really fast like that. It just makes it messy without looking too purposeful because I have trouble making things messy on purpose. They usually end up looking yuckier than I want them to look. Um, so that just helps me get the look that I want. I added uh, three of these snowflake die cuts that a friend sent me, a YouTuber sent me, um, and I've had them sitting in my stash and my goal was try to use some of these in my stocking stuffer project this month. And so I took a close-up picture of some of the gingerbread cookies that our babysitter brought over. I layered it on this card, which was misted with gold and then outlined with green. I layered some washi tape behind it, two, two strips of the gold chevron. Then I put this good tidings because she kind of, you know, brought good tidings. She, <laughs> she brought us a little tray of gingerbread and then I just wrote about our neighbor just because you know it could come you know several years from now I don't know if they might move away or we might move away it's nice to kind of remember her name and that she brought gingerbread cookies this year for the kids to decorate while she was babysitting them I just put that on the recipe card because I thought that was appropriate because they're cookies and I think they were homemade cookies. I think her mom and her made them, or at least her mom made them. And then this is another card that I did using the, I, I created this card in the die cut class. And uh, I'm just gonna use it as it is. I might outline it with black marker. I haven't decided yet. So I'm just kind of floating this around here. This will be the other filler card that will be the companion to that one. So I'll probably put it, I don't like to put it in exactly the same spot, so I probably won't put it there, but I might put it here or I might put it down here. Kind of depends. So that is what I have done so far. Thanks so much for checking in with me, and I hope that you guys are having a really great time documenting your December. Thanks for watching, everybody. Mm -hmm.